Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix. Item Far 2 is having an issue with crashing. It is not launching out one launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging. Low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this set. So let's dive into the work it out. So the first one is all about, we have to start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon. Now from here, go to the power icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game and that's what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, install it file. Now from here, we have to go to the installation folder. So the game is installed on Lopelis E. So the first one, just close everything over here. Now from here, go to the file explorer because we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So close the Steam in the background. Go to Lockless E, go to Steam Library, Steam Amps, go to Kwame. Now from here, go to Titan Farto. Now from here, we have to launch the game. So if we check, this is the uh, .exe. So we have to launch the game from here. So try launch the game from here. That would be working in most cases. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game as an administrator, just go over here, right click, go to show more option, go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. You can either set this to Windows 7 or it can set this to Windows 8, go for apply. Make sure you click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for okay. Close this and we have to go back to the Steam and try launch the game. Make sure and install about, we need to delete the saved game file. So just go to the file explorer. Now from here, go to the documents, go to my games. And if we have the folder here for the Titan Far 2, just delete the respective folder. And keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though it works a lot and it is a very important step, so we have to try this out. Make sure and it's all about what we need to do. We just need to move to the next step. That is all about nothing but what we need to do. So apart from this, we need to, after deleting the secret game file, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So we just need to go over here, search for the control panel, and we have to click on this one. And right now we have to go to system and security, go to Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Titan Far 2. So just keep scrolling down and navigate to Titan Far 2. So right now you can see who's probably the game has to be here. When I check, I'm not able to find the game. So which means we need to add the game. So just click on the chain setting or to allow another app, go to the browse, go to this PC, go to local disk E, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Scroll down and navigate to Titan Fire 2. Scroll down and we have to select this and we have to open and we need to add it. Once it is added, make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. Now we just need to close this and go back to launch the key. Make sure and install about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with any other external devices. For example, might be connected with joystick. We might be connected with any other thing. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we just need to try launch the game. Make sure and install about what we need to do. We just need to, after trying with the stay, if there is an issue, we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration, and we have to click on this one. Now from here, we have to navigate to services, go to disable or go to hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for okay, do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game. Make sure we need to, what we need to do is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. And if the game is enabled, the Steam overlay while in game. If you've actually turned it on, we have to turn this off, try launching the game. Next one, we need to go over here and we have to give the commands to the launch option. So the first one, we have to start with the X11. If DX11 is not working, we have to start with DX12. If DX12 is not working, we have to start with D3, D2. Try giving these commands. Either you can give for DX11, or you can try with DX12, or you can try with D3, D2. So just remove everything. Now we just need to close this and go back and try launch the game. 
make sure you solve what even after giving the commands in the launch option still if it's not working what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay and overclocking application so just go over here right click and go to the task manager and right now as you can see we have to check right now for launching these kind of heavy games we should be removing everything so if you check you can see that a lot of things running in the background including the discord epic games launcher you are to not ever say after button or all those things which is causing the issue so just remove everything from here once everything is successfully removed you can just go for end the task and remove it once you successfully remove it you can close this and go back and try launch the game make sure it's all about what we need to do even after closing this stay if there is an issue we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here search for the graphic settings now from here click on this one and we have to add the game so just go over here and we have to click on add desktop app now from here we have to click on lock this e steam library steam amps go to common scroll down go to titan file 2 scroll down and navigate to this one and we have to add it so once it's successfully added if you scroll down you'll be able to see it so just scroll, scroll down once again and now from here we have to select this one and we have to go for let windows decide change this to high performance and go forward with this now try launch the game still if that is an issue we need to launch the game by increasing the virtual memory just, just go over here search for view advanced system setting just click on this one advanced go for settings advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and we have to select the local disk so right now the game is installed on e app to select this one and give the custom size value so that is 1.5 times the throttle ram and the maximum size three times the throttle ram so just go over here search for the calculator and we have to go over here and right now we have to type the ram so 16 gb is the ram so just type 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and they have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 24 5 7 6 so copy this and we have to paste it make sure that this maximum size 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it so once every value is being set we just need to close this close this as well and try and launch the key still if you are having the trouble we need to update the graphics card before that make sure the windows is up to date because for these kind of games windows should be up to date so just go over here and be finding a link in the description to the nvidia so just go over here select everything for example if you're on the geoforce select geoforce and if you're on the geoforce 16 series select this one and if you're on the geoforce gta's 1650 select this one and go for find right now once you go for the find what we need to do is we just need to go over here and find the versions over here so we have to download this particular version and we have to try install it and restart your pc if you're on the md just go over here select everything like the graphics and everything should be selected based on your pc's configuration and go for submit and refer to the windows 11 is this one download this one with 64 bit and if it is on windows 10 64 bit download this one we can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus we can try downloading this if the system is based on x64 we can download this one and if the system is based on x86 we can download this one so after trying with this t if there is an issue what we need to do is we just need to go over here and verify the game file so just right click over here and go to the properties install it file and just click on the verify game file so this is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so we need to wait this reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what we have to do next
And once all the file is successfully validated, close this and try launch the game. Last and the least step, you need to uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here, manage, uninstall the game and we have to reinstall it back. But we should not be installing it back on the same locker list. We have to try either a new locker list or this one. So these are the steps. And we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.